Hey guys, John here from ECP Outdoors and today I wanted to uh, quickly show you something here uh, before it ends up flying off the shelf um, that I just I wanted to share because it's just not something that you see every day. Uh, I'm sure you've seen Lee Enfields before or different types of Enfields, Ishapores and whatnot, but this particular one was actually made by Savage and uh, it's got some little bit of differences to it. One of the major differences, let me see if I can show you this stamping here, it says U.S. property on it. And if we flip her around, I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera. Hopefully you can kind of make out what's going on there. It's stamped England on this side. So what's really interesting about the Savage, uh, and let me quickly tell you, this one was made in 1942. It's a number four Mark One. But what's unique about this is that during World War II, uh, Britain needed more weapons and their factories were bombed and uh, they couldn't produce the amount of weapons that they needed. So the United States passed an act called the U.S. Lend Lease Act, Lend Lease Act, and uh, that allowed U.S. manufacturers to create weapons for allies without being involved and still remaining neutral at the time. So they would lease this weaponry to allies so they can combat the Germans. And this is one of those guns. So I wanted to, as best as possible here, kind of just show off this receiver. It You'll notice it's a little bit more square. It's a little different than most of your the, the Lee Enfields you've probably seen. Here's the stock of this particular one. And this guy really is in not bad condition. I mean, overall, pretty darn fair. Here's the forend here. And the barrel is also kind of unique. So these sights are a little bit more, I guess, more square. I feel like the other ones are a little bit more rounded there. Here's the bottom. Kind of cool. Oop. There we go. But anyway, I mean, that's really it. Uh, I won't go into too much other detail on it. I think that alone is uh, kind of the key feature of this rifle. So if you're a collector or you want to start getting into collecting and you like this, the older World War II kind of stuff, keep an eye out for an infield that's marked U.S. property. Should be right there on the side. Bang. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this is something that you would add to your collection. And if you have any questions or you have any information you want to share, post it down below. I love reading everything and I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.